Hi, my name is Anna Peterson, and I'm going to talk to you about depression, which is a crucial mental illness that can cause persistent feelings of sadness and create a loss of interest in daily life activities that you once enjoyed. Some factors that create a greater risk for depression, um, such as congenital factors, are hereditary, is found to be around 50% for severe depression. Familiar Factors are such things as poor family communication and the lack of activities within the family unit, the lack of availability to be able to express emotions in your, and also environmental factors for depression can include noise pollution, chemicals from the foods that we eat in our diet, natural disasters, trauma, substance abuse, um, chronic illnesses, injuries, and even grief. Some factors and statistics that I found in the DC CDC.government um, for depression were the age standardized prevalence for depression in the U.S. with adults, which is at 18.5%, and is highest among those between 18 and 24 years of age, and lowest on if you are 65 years equal or less to 65 years of age. Depression is higher among women at 24% than it is of men who are at 13.3%, higher among white adults at 21.9% compared to others, higher among adults who have less um, than a high school graduation, high school education at 21.2%. Mental health issues differ by gender. Women usually experience stress, sadness, sleep issues, and while men usually become irritable, impulsive, and angry. By ethnicity, um, all the risk factors are similar across cultures. How people deal with depression or how they interpret their distress um, differs considerably across the board. By age, depression symptoms decrease from young ad adulthood to midlife, and then they rise again with age. Preventative methods could include um, a healthy sleep routine, healthy coping tools, regular exercise, healthy eating habits. The signs and symptoms of depression are persistence of sadness, anxiety, or just feeling empty, feelings of hopelessness, worthlessness, um, irritability, frustration, and restlessness, feeling of guilt or feeling helpless, loss of interest in the things that you enjoy and you find pleasure in. Diagnostic methods for depression are usually a combination of lab tests and simply talking to your doctor. Other tests include Beck's Depression Inventory, Hamilton's Depression Scale, and Zing, Zung Self-Rating Depression Scale. Treatments op treatment options could include a combination of antidepressant medication and therapy, such as cognitive behavioral behavioral therapy to help identify and changing negative thoughts or negative thought patterns, interpersonal therapy to improve interpersonal functioning, or even psychodynamic therapy. Talk, th talk therapy focuses on unconscious process and how they affect our current behaviors. Some methods that can be used for daily management are self-care, meditation or Tai Chi, um, adequate eating, eating healthy, exercising, and adequate sleep. We all can support someone we know that has a depression by just being a good friend, being a good listener, letting them know that they're important, that they're needed, and they're wanted, and asking them if there's anything that you can do to help them, including maybe offering them to go with them to the doctor for emotional support. An organization here in Utah County that can help you or someone you love um, or know that's dealing with depression is Wasatch Behavioral Health. Um, they, they offer several programs for adults, teens, and children, and they're located at 750 North Freedom Boulevard in Provo, Utah, 84601. Their number is 801 Six zero, or you can dial 988 for the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Thank you for listening.